So I don't know. I mean, let's see if we can land it here. He M1 does, but he didn't. He was not confident at all. Okay, there's his evasive. Hold on. I might be able to do it here, ladies and gentlemen. And then knock him down into both of us. Literally, this is the combo. He'll get knocked into the wall, into Black Hurricane. Oh, this dude's getting cooked. Nah, yo. Oh, he left. He freaking left. No. <laughs>
armor. And then your four, which is probably the coolest move on the whole kit, is Black Meteor right now. This does go through both super and hyper armor, so I'll use it on the hyper armor dummy for y'all. And as you can see, you do get hyper armor when using the move, and you get this really cool freaking cutscene. Yeah, that is probably one of the coolest moves in the whole kit. But yeah, like I said before, you do get hyper armor during the move, and it does go through both armors. However, weirdly enough, it doesn't, like, go through normal block. Now, I don't know if this was intended or not, but for some reason, you can block it, which I find a little bit weird. But, I mean, as you can see, when you click forward, you can straight up block it. It doesn't even break it, too. So, I don't know. It's a bit of a weird move, but I guess if you just ladder into it, you should be able to hit it most of the time. But yeah, that's basically the awakening. And I'm not going to lie, I kind of like the mini awakening more, only because literally none of your moves you can actually combo extend with as you can see literally everything knocks back so i don't know i just think because everything knocks back you can't really do much with it you kind of just mash moves out until they work and then just land your four to kill them but yeah that's basically us this full kit so with all that being said let's get on to the rank matches all right so we got the first match now i am really excited to do this because i think asta's base and his mini awakening are just really freaking good especially when it comes down to actually doing combos like look at this this is just a basic combo that you can do but it does a crap ton of damage now like i said in the tutorial his awakening is probably the least exciting part for me just because i feel like his awakening is kind of just move mash until stuff works but i mean who knows maybe i'm just crazy and you can actually cook with it now the sad news is we are fighting an epo who is probably one of the like strongest characters in the game right now if not just the strongest in general mainly because Epo's literal like whole move set can combo extend so i don't know what the devs were cooking when they like decided not to nerf him but yeah low-key he might just be the strongest so this could be a pretty hard match but i mean if we just keep comboing him up like we did right there we, we should be able to win that'll knock him against the wall oh never mind that dude got so lucky i'll just knock him back here because he probably has his yep there we go i got the counter now he doesn't have his evasive, so I can hit him with a full-on come. Never mind. Super armor, though. There we go. Knock him against the wall again. No, we didn't get it. Ground. Oh, he perfect bought me. Oh, yeah, I'm dead here. This is what I'm talking about, bro. Epo is a demon. Do I get my evasive? Oh, he didn't kill me. That's actually huge. Oh, never mind. Yeah, that one perfect block pretty much just sealed my fate. But, I mean, we did manage to get him really low. Go for my one here because he has super armor. So we can probably cook counter. No, he didn't hit us in time. That sucks. That would have been huge. You could have probably done mad damage. I don't know why he keeps doing that. He's kind of just giving us free damage whenever he decides to like lunge at us like that. Into the two here. Yep. That's something I do like about Asta's moves. Pretty much all of them, you can kind of use defensively if you want to. So as you guys saw when I dashed at him, I used my two because it also has super armor. Literally all of your moves have super armor. So you can kind of use that to your advantage and just launch them out. Oh my god, I accidentally misclicked, but it worked. You can kind of use that to your advantage and just launch them out as like defensive options if you actually want to. Like this, as you can see, because we have that super armor, we can literally just do stuff like that. His um evasive isn't gonna... Yeah, I've got evasive that. I ain't trying to take all that damage. No, thank you. He's probably gonna swing here. Counter? What? He didn't swing? That's actually insane. Luckily, he didn't make it to us in time to land that wall combo, and yeah, he's dead again. Honestly, the main reason we're kind of cooking this dude is because I'm just using my super armor really smartly. Every time he tries to, like, come and punish me, I'm just launching a move. And Epo only has one move, I think, that breaks super armor, being that punch that he just missed right there. And so because of that, whenever he doesn't have that punch, any move I launch out, he pretty much can't hit through. And so I can just get free damage. Now this dude's getting really greedy for damage, so we can cut punish him a lot harder into the one here look just like that all right i'm just gonna pop mini awakening here because i'm pretty sure with one combo he just dies so yeah now he's basically just gonna run away little does he know i can catch up to him pretty easily oh oh no nah, hold on this could be bad okay nice he bricked that oh no 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 good punch by him i'm gonna see if i can go for a black flash bop thank you i can combo him off of that knock him down into the one this will hit i can combo him again oh no he went too far i'm gonna just launch a raw four see if he gets hit oh he awakened smart man thing is though because he awakened now i can awaken and kind of just stall out his awakening so i'm gonna see if i can land a two here bop yep there we go he tried 
All right, I'm just going to awaken here because, like I said, Epo can easily one combo you. So I just need to draw his awakening and we basically win. If I get a ladder on him, then I'm pretty sure I can land my ult. So that's what I'm going to be looking for. But just like my base and pre awakening, all my moves have super armor. So I've got to awaken. No, thank you. I'm pretty sure that was his Dempsey roll. But like I said, I don't really, I haven't played Epo enough to actually know. If he comes towards us, I'm going to go for the one. He can't do anything about this. This will hit him regardless. What? Okay. He kind of just broke my ankles. Bop, 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 bop. This should knock him into the wall, I think. Oh, wait. The last, oh, okay. So the last hit of your two isn't actually true. I didn't know that. Yeah, he is whittling us down a lot. But I think he ran out of awakening. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he did just run out of awakening. So now he's just going to start running a lot. Going to the one here. That'll hit him free damage yeah i mean there's not really too many combos you can land into the four in case he does something yep just like that take this and now i'll see you in the end game my boy hit him where am i oh there you go hit him with the mm. oh that actually killed him wow i don't really know how much damage that does but i think it does like 30 or 40 so that was actually a sick way to end the game but yeah ggs to him and on to the next match all right, next match. So that last match was actually pretty good. I'm kind of shocked we went against the Epo users since, like I've said before, Epo is a really freaking strong character. But now we're against a Shinra, and Shinra, is, Shinra isn't that bad to go against. The only thing you really gotta be careful of is his awakening, since he does have that one shot. But I mean, besides that, you can kind of cook, so it shouldn't be that. Oh, I did not know he was going for his freaking super move, and I just used my awakening for no reason, so that's pretty bad. Yeah, he's gonna cook right here, bro. Oh wait, I can actually knock him against the wall, and if if I do, then this is kind of just free. If he evasives like he did right there, crap. I wanted to use a move out of it, but I didn't get to. We're both on the same amount of health, though, so into the one here. Yep, was good, my boy. Hit him with that. Now he's one shot, so that's good. I know he's got that long range move, so that's kind of what I want to be careful of. Yep, basically that. Now I can do this. We both have super armor, but I killed him through the freaking damage reduction. Okay, because we're one shot, I kind of want to play for my life, so I'm going to be defensive here. That way I can get a bit of a health lead. You can punish Shinra after that um, ranged attack. I just decided not to because, like I said, I am one shot. So I'm just going to go. Oh, I didn't know I broke his armor. That was so bad. Oh, what the hell? Oh, that's unlucky for him. He should have easily been able to combo me off of that. The game kind of sold him. No. Oh, my God, bro. I, was that? Oh, no. I should have evasived. All right. That sucks. I wish we could have gotten more of a lead there, but it's whatever. I'll just go for my three here for free damage. What? Okay. Somehow he was able to actually go out of that i don't really know how but whatever this is a free combo for us bop bop if he evasive i'm gonna counter just like that free damage you don't always want to go for your fifth m1 that's a bit unlucky i should have been able to counter that but it's whatever if he goes for that i can go for mine and i'm pretty sure he dies here yeah there you go you don't always want to go for the last m1 because after your last m1 right here you're actually on end lag as you can see so most people will try and evasive for once you go for that and that you basically can't fight back damn i keep like not trusting that i'm gonna hit him and so sometimes i'll just end up canceling it yep see i don't have end lag right there bob into the three here can't do anything Oh, we're both super armoring again. There we go. So we didn't really lose. Whoa, I'm lagging. Whoa, what the hell? Okay, that's a bit unlucky. I just lost a crap ton of health for literally no reason, bro. I just started lagging. Go for my one here since he can't do anything about it. I don't want to awaken yet into the four in case he does something. Oh, a bit too early. Actually, I think I'll go for my normal awakening. Yeah, I will. I'll just get the full heal here. So you do actually lose mini awakening stacks. Like, oh, I could just black meteor, right? No, bro, that's so unlucky. I was too late. You do actually lose um, mini awakening stacks when you awaken first instead of doing your mini awaken. But I think we can probably do enough damage to just be able to um, build it up anyways. So it's not that bad. This is basically just free damage, not much he can do about this into the three here that's gonna hit and now he's dead yeah so this is what i'm talking about i managed to get the max heal because remember shinra can one shot you in awakening so just trying to keep as many stocks as possible is your best case scenario don't really know why he went for that because i can just do this and he has no real counterplay to it so that was really dumb i'll go for that bob into the ladder oh wait i didn't get the ladder but that's fine he still won't be able to hit us yeah because super armor this dude's really selling, honestly. He really should just 
we got the wall bounce too. Oh no, I did five and ones. Okay, he didn't do anything after that. Yeah, he's scared. I'm gonna just go for my one since my awakening is about to end anyways. And he still blocked it. You should have just took it for that. Oh, we won. I didn't even realize. Oh crap. Well, yeah, I guess GG's to that guy and on to the next match. All right. So depending on how long this is, this could be the last match. We're against another um Shinra player. So this should be a bit interesting. But I'm not really too scared of Shinra, especially after what we did to that last dude. Oh, we freaking hit him while his move was coming out so it didn't actually come out fully that's bad okay he didn't punish us yeah shinra isn't really too scary like i said you kind of just need to know what you're doing and then shinra doesn't really become oh my bro i was just confused if you kind of just know what you're doing then shinra isn't too big of a problem we can go for our three here i think we'll wall slam him again yeah we can combo it off of that and yeah he's dead so that was a pretty free and easy stock. I'm not even going to lie. Right now, we're doing really good. We're like a quarter to our mini awakening. I don't know why. you, Bro, you should never launch that move out raw. It is just not going to work. We knocked him against the wall, so we can work off of that. We do have our counter counter right there. Yup. Got another freaking wall bounce. Bop into the two here. Yeah, bro. The stuff you can do against the wall is just insane. This dude's one shot again, too, so I'm going to rush him, and he's dead again. I don't even think he touched us. Now, I don't remember if I said this or not, but this could be the last match. Just depends on that's not good. Yeah, see, that was a good evasive right there because I was locked in the animation. We can counter and then punish him right after, just like that. That'll knock him against the wall. We can combo off of that. He's probably going to evasive? No. Sometimes trying to bait the evasive is a... um very good way of just you know getting stuff like that where they can't punish you for comboing bop into hurricane here free damage and i'm just gonna pop mini awakening this is not looking good for this dude at all i do really want to land the combo with black slash into bull thrust the problem is unless you get the person's evasive early like they'll pretty much always evasive it so i don't know i mean let's see if we can land it here he m1 does but he didn't he was not confident at all okay there's his evasive hold on i might be able to do it here ladies and gentlemen and then knock him down into both us literally this is the combo he'll get knocked into the wall into black hurricane oh this dude's getting cooked nah yo oh he left he freaking left no <laughs> So since the last dude left, this is going to be the actual last match. But that dude leaving is just hilarious. Like, I was not anticipating that dude to leave at all. But, I mean, we did hit him with a pretty demon combo. So I'd low-key be surprised. I mean, I would have left if that were me. But right now, we're against a Joker. Now, Joker is, like, one of the only characters I'm not really too good at fighting. Mainly because I've only ever fought him once. So, I don't know. This match could go, like, either two ways. We did get him against the wall. We can... Oh, my. I wanted to counter that. Yeah, my problem with Joker is he just has so many, like, range moves. And that move guard breaks, funnily enough. So, I just find myself getting hit by those a lot. Damn, I wanted to counter right there. We should be able to combo him off of that? No, never mind. All right. This dude's playing a really, like, defensive play style. Oh, I should... Oh, bro. If those would have came out, I would have killed him. He's playing a really defensive play style. So, I'm going to predict the dash back into the counter. Yep. Just like that. Frame one you ain't catching me yeah so this dude likes to like run away and then just dash back quickly kind of like this but thanks to us having a counter it makes it a lot easier to deal with now because we're one hp i'm gonna try and just play for my life here but as you can see with all the range moves that i was talking about he's getting greedy for damage since he just wants to kill us which does make sense that's bad but we have hyper armor there we go and since he already used his evasive we can do mad damage no we can't into the one nice that was a really good freaking trade right there dog we're still not dead and he's on half health we can block those for free counter that wait what huh i countered but nothing happened okay that was a really weird sequence because i did counter but i still died but i mean we got a really good trade in that life so i'm not honestly that mad like i said I, the problem with me and joker is i don't know what like his moves do man so it's just very difficult he hit us right there with sucks but that's literally just a free attack because he used his jump if he goes for anything i'm ready to counter it just like that so there we go into the two here since yep i've never done that yet so he probably wouldn't expect it that's a free block and he's dead right there. I think what I'm just going to need to do is play this like I did in that one Shinra match and kind of just use my um, super armor moves to my advantage. Because this dude keeps playing really, like, defensively. Okay, I did not know that that move guard breaks, bro. That's free damage. He's probably going to evasive. No, he doesn't evasive. Okay, well, I can just use my two here. He's stunned. He's getting too greedy for damage now. Yep, that'll knock him into the wall. Into the one, that'll knock him into the wall. Into the three, because we still have super armor. Yep. And now I'll pop mini awakening here. 
Yeah, this dude is getting really greedy for damage, so it's kind of just letting us do um, mad stuff to him. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. Bop into Black Divider here. This should hit because it's not... What, where do you, huh, what the hell? Okay, well, we ended up dying, which sucks because we didn't really do much off of that, but I, I just don't... Where did he go? Like, when I used my Black Divider, the dude kind of just disappeared, bro. I don't really know what that was. Like I said before, I'm just going to use my um, super armor moves to my advantage because I don't really know what Joker's um, super armor, like, breaking move is. Two here. Yep, free damage again. We're kind of just whittling him down. That guard breaks, so I want to avoid that. If he comes after me, I'm going to go for my um, counter here. Where'd he go? Oh. All right, there we go. We ended up killing him, and we still have Awakening. So right now, this is looking like a win for us. I think once I actually, like, decide to make a video on Joker, I'll probably know what he does. But right now, this is probably definitely, like, the one character where I just I, I just don't know what's happening. We can go for our Black Slash here. He's going to evasive soon, so, yep, don't want to do the final M1 because that'll give him a combo. Oh, he decided to awaken. Now, I've legitimately never fought a Joker awakening, so I don't know what to expect. Oh, that guard break? What, what's hap what the hell? Okay, I'm going to evasive that since he got way too greedy. This is just free damage. Knock him against the wall. Evasive here. Yep. What? The evasive miss? Okay, I got to awaken here. I'm not trying to die. No, thank you. Okay, so what the hell was that? Okay. Go for the one here since he can't do anything about that. Into the three. Oh, we missed. Like I said, Asa's awakening, you kind of just mash in since it, there's no real like combo potential. And so my main goal is to kind of just try and get a ladder into the four. Okay, so that's blockable. Oh my bro, I'm just getting like harassed by this dude's freaking ranged attacks man and i died okay yo joker's awakening is crazy holy it's actually really bad that we died there because now it's tied and this dude could potentially come back i don't is he still in awakening i don't know how you're supposed to tell it doesn't look like he is yeah he, he's not in awakening anymore so Nate, there, there's potential we probably still do win this if i just play the exact same way i've pretty much been playing this whole time bro his freaking ranged moves man and yeah now he's just running away this is what i'm talking about this is there we go, bop, bop, bop. Into the one here, cause super armor, yep, can't do anything about that. We can evasive that, bop, into the two here. Counter, oh my bro, our counter didn't do anything again. This is close though, I'm gonna just use my super armor to my advantage, just like I did that one time. Into the three, oh, that breaks super armor, I did not know that, okay, that's pretty bad. Yep, demon slicer right there. This dude is one shot. Oh my bro, he keeps hitting me with that. We're both one shot right now. This could go either way. I don't know what this dude's doing. He's kind of just playing ring around the rosy. I mean, I guess it makes sense since he's one shot, but like, bro, like, really? Okay, that's actually huge for us. He decided to. Oh my, we're one shot. Counter. Into the one. Kill him. He perfect blocks me. No freaking. Oh my god. All right, so I know I said the last match was going to be, you know, the actual last match, but I don't really like ending things on a loss. And so I'm still a little bit annoyed that we actually ended up losing to that freaking Joker, especially since I think we could have definitely, like, beat that dude. It's just more or less, I don't really um, know what jo Joker does that much, since, like I said, I've never really fought him that much. Go for the counter here because he would try and do something. But yeah, it definitely sucks that we lost that. That dude was legit just running like practically the whole match. We can probably walk wall him right here. Yep, that's another free combo. No, I did the five M1s. All right, thank goodness he messed up the punish, but I did the five M1s. I didn't know he'd get his evasive there. But yeah, I am a little bit annoyed we lost to that Joker because we definitely could have beat him, but he just straight up started running in like the last two stocks. Now we're against a Tangan though. Tangan's another just really strong character in general. I can counter this. Never mind, I guess. Yeah, Tengen can do a lot of damage, and um, he's got, like, a decent amount of combo extenders. And the main move you want to be looking out for is that two that he's got right there. He's probably going to evasive right here. No evasive. Okay. Yeah, the main move you want to be looking out for is definitely his, like, little blue attack. I don't really know what you call it, but it's, like, definitely his strongest kit because it just gives him pretty much a free engage. I can punish him off of this. Yep. There we go. If he goes for anything, I'll counter it. You can block it, though, so that's something to always remember. Into the counter, and yeah, he killed himself. <laughs> right now, we're looking pretty good. We haven't lost much health, and he's down a stock, and we're close to mini awakening. I knew he'd probably go for his blue attack there, so that's why I tried to play range. Like I said, though, you can block it, so it's not the biggest issue. I'm going to go for my three here. 
Oh, I, okay, that breaks super armor. Yeah, as you can see, one of the reasons Tangan is just like a really good character. A multi-hitting super armor breaking move is just like insane. Go for the two here in case he tries to do something. Okay, I mean, I'll just take the free damage. So he's probably gonna go for his blue move here. I've got my block up. Yep, now we get a free punish. I can block whatever he does. Never mind. Counter this. Okay, so you just can't counter that move. That's actually really bad because that's like pretty much a hard actual counter to us, but... Luckily, we managed to kill him right there. And like I said, I've got mini awakening and full awakening. And yeah, he's on last stock. So I genuinely don't know how we could lose this. I'm going to pop mini awakening right now, though. See if I can just get a bunch of damage. I don't even think he's got awakening. So right now, this is looking like it's our thingy. He's definitely going to go for the blue move. I can tell. Oh, that was a bit different. Bob into black divider. I don't think this is true. Yeah, it's not. Just wanted to see if it was, though. I kind of threw out my one pretty raw right there i'm not even gonna lie okay we've got a bunch of damage i think i'm just gonna awaken though yeah i'm just gonna awaken because like i said i just want to save my stocks for um being able to tank his awakening whenever that comes out i'll go for the one here he has to get hit by that wall him oh no he's awakening okay so this is actually the best possible scenario because since he had to awakening now he's got ultra instinct since he had to awaken now we can kind of just run down the clock i can't m1 him since he's got ultra instinct right now so i literally just need to keep breaking his ankles until it runs out like it just did right there i can go for my one oh that breaks freaking super armor man yeah i'm telling you bro tangan is really strong i'm gonna see if i can land a ladder into my alt i don't know if this actually works okay I, you, if it works it works man i messed up my ladder combo but somehow we still managed to land black meteor right i'm pretty sure in awakening his like freaking frame one attack actually guard breaks now okay i don't know why i keep breaking my ladders bro but i mean he's one shot so we don't really need to worry about much this is free damage is he dead yeah he just died <laughs> So yeah, as you guys can see, man, Asla is a really strong character. Funny thing is, he actually used to be stronger during like when the game wasn't released and they decided to nerf him. And even after the nerf, he's still just really freaking good. You can do a lot of damage, your combos are really good. And yeah, just all in all, he's just a really freaking good character, especially with all the super armor moves he has. Pretty much his whole kit has like at least three super armor moves in it, which as you guys can see is really good in matchups against like Shinra or Joker, even though i lost and you can kind of just play around them and just you know do really well and just get free damage so he's just a really freaking good character we would have been undefeated had i actually like been better at fighting joker it does suck that we did get one loss but i mean besides that you guys did see the amount of just crazy combos and damage he can do so yeah asta is definitely a good character if you guys want to pick him up but yeah in terms of my next anime showdown video i'm pretty sure it's going to be on ukiora since he is the newest character that dropped and yes i know i'm late on him but hey better later than never right so yeah y'all can definitely expect that as the next one but with all that being said i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i'll see you on the next one peace